I didn't notice you there. Welcome to Modded 360s and You. My name's Jeff, and I'll be teaching you the ropes to all things homebrew on your newly acquired, totally legal, modded Xbox 360. So, I assume that you stumbled across this 360 in the wild and have no idea where to begin with the homebrew process. Well, in that case, you've come to the right place. As in this part of the training, we'll be installing a file management software. This comes in the form of XCX menu. Now, XCX stands for, uh... Well, I don't entirely know, but what I do know is that XEX is the extension for any executable on modded 360s. To begin, you'll need a modded 360 with an internal hard drive, some sort of external storage device, a Windows-based PC, and all of the files required for XEX menu. Now, for your convenience, with this tape, we've included a disk that contains all the files needed. Oh, well, that's convenient. I'll have linked to the contents in the description down below. Once you've gotten all of those, head on over to your consoles. We're going to need to format your external storage device on it before we can install XEX menu. To do this, take your external storage device and plug it into one of the USB ports on the console. Don't worry, they won't bite. From the home screen, you're going to want to navigate over to Settings, then click on System, then go down to Storage, Hover over your external storage and press Y, then go down and select Format, and press Yes in the pop-up window. Once the device has been formatted, unplug it from the 360 and plug it into your Windows-based PC and open it within File Explorer. You'll notice that there isn't anything shown on the device. To view the contents, click on View, and then check the box that says Hidden Items. You'll now see a content folder. Going inside of the content folder, you'll be greeted with, once again, a whole lot of nothing. So right click, and go down to New, and select Folder. You're going to want to entitle this with two bits, or 16 zeros. Once you've finished entitling the folder, open it, as this is where we're going to have to copy all the files that are included with this tape. Explore the files that are on your floppy, and copy the code 9999 folder. Then, go back to the folder with all of the zeros, and paste it inside. Well, it looks like this is going to take a while, so in the meantime, let's head over to the console and format the internal hard drive so that it's ready for mods. To do this, go to System Settings, then down to Storage, press Y on the hard drive, and choose Format. You'll have to select Yes in this pop-up box and enter the serial number to your console. You can locate the serial number by opening the small flap in the front of the console that houses the two USB ports. Once that's complete, plug your external storage back into the 360 and view its contents. You should now see that there is a demo available for XEX menu. Simply copy this to your internal hard drive. Ah, well isn't that great. Go ahead and create a profile real quick, and be sure to name it something child-friendly. Then copy the demo for XEX menu. Once the copy is complete, head on over to the Recent section on the Home menu and you should now see XEX Menu version 1.2. If we launch the program, you'll see that there's nothing here. This is normal as we haven't added anything to the hard drive yet. To navigate the menus, use the left and right bumpers to switch between currently installed games, storage devices, and XEX Menu settings. Pressing the right bumper once will take you to the screen to manage storage devices. Using left and right on the D-pad will allow you to swap between the currently selected destination. Pressing Y while on one of these screens will bring up a menu for modifying this selected directory. From here, you can copy, cut, paste, delete, create a new directory, copy a DVD, or patch an XEX file. To demonstrate XEX menu in action, let's copy a game from a disk to the internal hard drive. First, let's go to the storage device, HDD1. From here, press the Y button, choose Create. Enter the name of the game that you wish to copy, then go into the newly created folder. Press Y again, and choose Copy DVD. You'll get a pop-up on the screen and the disk tray will open. From here, simply insert the DVD you wish to copy and close the disk tray. Then press confirm. XCX menu should now copy the contents of the disk to the specified directory. Once completed, you should now be able to locate the default XEX and run the copied game. If at any point you forget what the buttons are, don't fret, just press the back button on your controller and you should be greeted with a lovely graphic detailing all the button layouts. That should just about cover the basics of XEX menu. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Modded 360 using you, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one where we'll be covering a piece of homebrew software designed to help you customize the system settings of your modded Xbox. I look forward to seeing you then. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Copying a disc. I don't even know how my disc is. You f
Fucking donkey. 